I'm already out of breath. How do you want to organize this video? Should we talk? Can I talk up there when it's going? Yeah? Okay. Well then, what is up, YouTube? We are in Movati. I got myself a new gym, gym membership just for you guys. Because easier to film here. It's Mo's gym. We're doing it. By the way, we got Mohammed go Mo behind the camera again. So, today is supposed to be the first workout I show you guys of my push pull legs, push pull legs routine. So, I've already explained to you guys the video will be up by now with my new program and I have no idea what it is and I forgot to bring my piece of paper with me where I've written down. So I'm not gonna be able to actually follow the program I made but I'm gonna do it as close as I can by memory. And yeah, so welcome to the first edition of Push Pull Legs, Chris Bump said. We're starting on push day, of course. So we're down in this feel force room or some whatever it's called. We're gonna hit some bench, we're gonna hit some chest, some shoulders, some chives and take you guys through a workout. Longest time, I always did suicide grip, and people were like, Chris, stop doing that, stop doing that. I was like, no, no. But my wrist kind of started to hurt, and it's just not optimal. So now I'm trying to wrap my thumb back under, keep my wrist locked, and it feels super awkward, but you gotta start somewhere, so. You know, so we're back to the thumbless grip. Even last one set, the thumbs are leaving me. My thumbs betray me. Sets of Almost 275. Set. Uno mas. Uno mas, si senor. S'il vous plaît. Come on, esta. That's the end of the workout. Pretend that didn't happen. Go on home. Like I said in my other video, the hardest thing for me switching over to doing push pull legs instead of the bro split is not like pushing it too hard. If I feel good on bench, normally I would do like five sets, keep pushing it, drop set, whatever, and just hammer on my chest. But if I do that now and I try and train chest again in like three days, I'm gonna be broken. 
So that's why it's important to like write down your workouts and just push each set as hard as you can. And when you're done that exercise, move on to the next one and don't fuck with the program. So I tried to really organize this so I didn't really give a shit about my shoulders in this kind of training program. So I want to focus on building my triceps and chest on my push day because shoulders of mine are something that always grew. So I put in something like a shoulder press right after I bench press. For your little fatigue, I'm not going to go heavy, but I find it's a good way to isolate your shoulders. Chest is a little tired after that. And standing military press, it just kind of puts you in a better position. It doesn't let you cheat. If you cheat, you're gonna fuck up your lower back, so keep your core tight, body locked and straight, and try and push it right overhead. And yeah, exercise number two. That's a nice carbon fiber bench. Maybe we should put that in the truck, you know? New truck seats, carbon fiber ram truck seats. You never know. Coming to a theater near you. Upstairs? I guess. It's Unless you want to uh, use 60s over there. I mean, I'm not even, I was gonna use cables. I think. Can't remember what my program, my own program is, so. What's this pussy, We're winging pussy it. shit? Pussy shit. Yeah, what is it? Fucking pussy shit. <laughs> Y'all know me. Pro tip never use the stairs during a workout. You gotta reserve all energy, it's lifting the weights. No smile, no emotion. Definitely no stairs. Is this just because of uh, push-pull legs? Push-pull legs. Part of the routine. I'm gonna have to adjust my program when I go home. That's why I didn't bring it, because I knew I had to change it. In between bench, shoulder press, in between elevator, ride up. Asterisk, avoid stairs, all caps, exclamation point, asterisk. This is considered cardio. It's too far of a walk. We need the, wa the moving uh, escalators, you know, in the airports. Okay. Okay. <laughs> what's up, man? Yo, I'm such a huge fan. Sick. What's your name? Oh, shit, I'm James. James? Yeah, I'm uh, me, man. I'm getting coached by. Uh, Joe Seaman. Okay, okay. Yeah. He goes, he trained he train here too? Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. Oh my god, so nice to meet you. Great to meet you too. Congrats man. on the uh, winning Olympia. Thanks, bro. I appreciate Can it. Can I take a picture with you real quick? Or? Holy shit. You didn't mention what's next. 
next exercise, moving on to more isolation stuff. So from now on, I think everything you do now is isolation. We can finish with dips. We're gonna superset triceps here, and the push down rope, my favorite tricep thing. And I'm gonna do some lateral raises, probably just a plate because I'm too lazy to walk with the dumbbells. So here we go. You guys want to talk about the serendipity, whatever you want to say. I got a text from my sister saying, want to get sushi tonight? I've been craving sushi forever. No one wants to go with me. My best friend's allergic to seafood. Corey doesn't really like raw fish. Sister, want to go to sushi? We're going to have to go to Maryville, Algonquin area. I've never been to the gym my entire life. Even this side of Ottawa, and that's Maryville. And that's where she wants to go to sushi. So. The raw gods are after me. When's the sweater coming off? I don't like to take my sweater off ever anymore. I've lost way too much weight. Probably lost like 20 pounds of muscle at the Olympia. <laughs> maybe, a bit less maybe, but we'll see. See how I feel. Stage weight? What? Is this stage weight? No, from what my non-lean body mass was before prep. It was like almost 260. And now I'm like, like 240. Same body fat. <laughs> but healthy and running strong. Yeah, what if you don't lift the cuff there? Moving on to a chest isolation now, a little bit further into the workout. These machines that I look like just are my favorite, where it's like table fly, but seated into the machine. I 
I really can't decide if I like this better than pec deck or not, but I know my next chest day has pec deck in it specifically. It's a little different. So, do this right now and train a little pump into the, pump into the titties. We need a titty pump. Go, we're getting sushi after this now. Gotta get huge. Maybe nice if that could slide out, eh? Elongate the shaft. Only we could all elongate our shaft. Got your pump, time to go. Hey? Got your pump, time to go. Time to go, yeah. He's trying to get me out of here. <laughs> you know you know me too well. He, he sees me trade when I'm not on camera. When I'm not on camera, I'm at the gym for like 15, 20 minutes, you know? Do a little chest, maybe. Put 350 on the bar, walk around, wait till no one's looking, take it off, go home, call it a day. You know, it ain't easy being Mr. Olympia, but someone's gotta do it. Gotcha. Because of beat kicks, you know? They just fit so nice on these and look so pretty. Shameless sponsor plug. If you guys want some beat kicks, use code CBUMP. Swipe up. Alright, what's next, Mo? Should we do some handstands? Probably actually a really good shoulder work, but do it. Pass on that. Oh, 
You want to mention what you're doing? Yeah, I guess I should. So I realized, I just remembered I was over there, that I screwed up a lot of this program. And I remembered what I wrote down. I had six sets of lateral raises with, I think, four tricep push downs, and I only did four lateral raises. So I'm jumping over here quick, and I'm hammering out two. I had a warm up one, kind of so like two, three extra sets on my delts, just to get the same amount of sets in. And then we're going to move on to the final exercise, which is dips kind of like a overall body weight compound at the end, I guess you'd say. Mainly chest, tricep. I'm gonna try and focus on my tricep and just get a lot of volume out of it. Know where you're out of shape when 15 plus reps makes you lightheaded. Time to put cardio back. Yeah. Oh, my bad. Tried to move it, couldn't be done. Glutes need some work too. For your uh, push downs with your leg. Can't get that high. We don't have the mobility. Program. What? Booty Builder program. Booty Builder? That's Courtney's program. If you download the ebook, swipe up. <laughs> I forgot to bring it in, but I had my little crack cocaine packet in the car, AKA my new pre-workout coming in. I tested it, they gave me like little baggies of it, just like baggies of white powder I have sitting in my car. And I had it on the way here, I only had half the serving of it. And like, I was really tired. I was like quiet and I was like, couldn't be a most shot, like picture today, he got me up early doing stuff, I'm normally napping all day. And it actually like lit me up and I feel like focused and like kind of fired up right now. And I only took half the scoop you're supposed to. And the form is not even done. So I'm fired up with the pre-workout coming out. You guys are gonna love it. And I'm still trying to pick the flavor. I've had a few that were like kind of like popsicle flavored or white raspberry. I had a peach candy one, which is really good. So if you guys have any flavor recommendations, something if you made a pre-workout you'd want it to taste like, comment below, let me know what you want and maybe I'll try it out. I tell ya, people these days, what are you gonna do? Well, that's gonna be it for this workout. I'm not gonna lie, it still feels weird, like fatigued. I'm obviously, I'm not, like I said, I'm still kinda training like a pussy because my body's recovering. But it feels weird not just like destroying a body part for an hour. So, I guess that's that. I'm probably gonna have to redo this video because like I said, I didn't do it, but this is a trial run for me and Mo, and then, I guess I'm gonna have another six videos coming out of every single day with my training routine. I'm gonna bring my paper this time. We're gonna put sets and reps on the screen. And yeah, hopefully I actually like this routine because I kind of put a lot of thought into it and I hope it's good. 
If not, we're switching back to the bro split. And either way, we're here to get juicy. We're here to have a good time. So 